Nothing can be more annoying than serpentine belt noise as you drive. Even though the sound of the squealing belt is enough to make you stop in your tracks, your travels do not have to come to an end. You can get back out without too much delay if you know how to handle the serpentine belt squealing noise. In this video, we go over every single reason why a serpentine belt makes noise and demonstrate how to identify the issue. Additionally, we offer you advice on how to fix it and estimate your potential costs. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Let's begin with six serpentine belt noise causes. Bad tensioner. The drive belt tensioner is required to control the serpentine belt. It's a special pulley with a pivoting function that can be adjusted to guide the belt. When the tensioner malfunctions, the belt cannot be held as tightly as it should be. Strange noises will undoubtedly start as the belt starts to come loose. As you press the gas pedal, you might notice that they get worse. Furthermore, if the belt becomes too slack, it may come off and harm something. Worn out belt. Belts made of serpentine aren't meant to last forever. You can anticipate a life in most vehicles between 50,000 and 100,000 miles due to the synthetic rubber construction. The ribs on the belt make it move more unevenly across the pulleys as it begins to deteriorate. There may be a variety of sounds, including squealing, as the belt drags just a little. The belt may start to fail completely before braking, at which point the noise might get louder. Faulty or stuck pulley. Numerous pulleys located around the belt system assist in spinning accessories like the power steering, alternator, and AC compressor. To keep the belt moving smoothly, these pulleys have spinning grooves. The belt will slip on the pulley if one of the pulleys becomes worn or if the accessories become stuck and turn with a lot of resistance. A squeaking or chirping noise might be audible. This may also result in slipping and further harm to the serpentine belt. You do not want to put off the correction for this reason. Coolant exposure. Your issues go beyond mechanical failure. You might also hear some squealing if the belt comes into contact with coolant or antifreeze. You must exercise caution when performing maintenance because even a small amount can result in significant issues. A leak in the hoses can also cause antifreeze to drip onto the belt. In either case, the coolant will harm the belt and cause squealing. The belt will probably need to be replaced. Misaligned idler pulley. In addition to the pulleys we've already talked about, the system also uses an idler pulley. The belt's direction of motion is also maintained by this idler pulley. The belt won't operate properly if it gets harmed or isn't properly aligned. Along with the squealing sounds you hear, it might start to slip and put more strain on the belt. Cold weather. Many components of the car are impacted by low temperatures, including the serpentine belt. You might not need to fix it just yet if you hear the squealing only when it's cold outside. The belt should stop squeaking once the engine has warmed up. To be safe, it's still best to have it examined. In fact, because the belt's material becomes more brittle in colder temperatures, damage may occur more quickly. So now we know where the belt noises come from, and it's time to talk about how to diagnose it. Listen and pay attention. Pay attention to what is going on as a starting point. You might not have a serious issue if the squealing only happens when the car is cold and stops as soon as it warms up. It's crucial to keep track of the sound's occurrence times because of this. You should pay close attention to the sound source as well. Look for coolant. Your issue might be brought on by recently adding coolant to your system, which could have dripped some on the belt. Additionally, the belt might be contaminated if there are any system leaks. Sadly, it is difficult to remove the coolant from the belt. It will absorb into the belt and result in long-term harm. The belt must be changed if you want to stop the squealing. Examine belt. The belt itself should be the first thing you examine when you are prepared to diagnose the issue. The belt needs to be replaced the majority of the time because it is worn out and fragile. This belt does experience a lot of friction and continuous motion. The belt is on the verge of snapping if you notice any cracks, so you must act right away. Even if the wear is only slight, it is better to replace it sooner rather than later to avoid bigger issues. Tighten pulleys. The belt will squeal if it isn't tight. If the belt is in good physical condition after your inspection, you should proceed to the pulleys. There should be no slack while the belt is spinning. If there is, the pulleys need to be tightened. The majority of the time, finishing this task doesn't involve removing the belt and isn't particularly challenging. However, you will have to take off the belt if the pulley needs to be replaced. Modern pulleys are frequently automatic, so you might need to change the pulley tensioner if the tension is poor. Visit Mechanic. If the aforementioned steps fail to identify the issue, additional assistance will be required. Although you might not want to, if you have run into a brick wall, consulting a mechanic may be necessary. To find out which auto repair shop in your neighborhood offers quality service, do some research. Most likely, the cost of the labor to determine the issue shouldn't be more than an hour or so. Cost to replace serpentine belt. 
The typical cost of a new serpentine belt is around $50. If you can replace this belt by yourself, labor is not an additional expense. You may need to pay an additional $50 to $150 to have it installed if you need to hire a professional. Your car's make and model will affect the labor price. Some cars require much more effort to belt into place than others. 